they had what was called a penny march. And every Sunday morning, the Sunday school kids came through and they put a penny in a little church bank. It looked like a little church. My dad was pastor, and I said one day, Daddy, I don't have a penny. And he said, well, here's a dime. And I said, I can't put a dime in there. It's called a penny march. We have the mentality of penny march when we ought to be talking dollars march. I'm serious. You see, when, when the Holy Spirit comes into your life and He begins to show you that you can do things that you normally would not do, then you would come together in one mind and one accord and you'd say, let's get this roof paid for where we can move on to something else so that God can bless us through our giving. Amen. Yes. We can. God is not a beggar. God's people do not have to be beggars. God wants to pour out His Spirit on us. I started in chapter 2. Oh my goodness, my time's up. we, we got to stop and sing some more. Is that the way we do it? Can I just go ahead? How many of you give me five more minutes? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty, twenty. Let's get on to this. And suddenly there came sounds from heaven as a rushing mighty wind. The sound coming out of heaven. I've been in so many churches there wanting a sound from heaven. I mean, when they were singing, it didn't sound like heaven. We haven't had the sound of the Russian mighty wind in our congregation, and I can tell you how I know it. We got too many sick folks. We got too many people still complaining, criticizing. We've got too many people that are thinking of their own plans, or else they're trying to figure out how to get somebody out of the church. The sound of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. And it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. This is the evidence that you've been baptized, that you've been filled, that the Holy Spirit has come down on you. See, we have to have some way of knowing that something has happened. This white stuff you see outside on the roofs and on the ground, that's the evidence that it snowed. Right? And these icicles you see hanging down is the evidence that the sun was shining. So we're, there's going to be some evidence somewhere. And so when we come together in one mind and one accord, and we begin to pray, then comes this sudden rushing wind in, into the room. And something will land on top of us. Amen. 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 Something will hit you and you will either start shaking or you will start quaking. One of my great, 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 great grandfather, I don't remember how far back now, but he was a Quaker. And from all that I've ever read, he could really shake it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We see somebody get under the spirit and they start to shake. Oh, sit down, you're going to embarrass them. Somebody's going to think we're fanatics. Well, let's let, let the world think we're fanatics. It doesn't matter. But let's take a stand for what God can do in our lives. This started happening, and sure enough, the ones out in the world. Excuse me, they began to say they're drunk. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning and they're drunk. If you're drunk on the Spirit at 9 o'clock,
truck in the morning. I want to be there with you. <laughs> When it 
comes pouring out next time. I hope he stops you on the same bird for the next 20 days. <laughs> I'm expecting to see you act like you just hadn't got a care in the world. You'll fall in the corner, you'll stick in tongues, your hands will shake, you'll dance. Good oh. there, done that. Do it again. <laughs> Amen. Do it again. Just keep going. My goodness. What God has for us. Yes. Verse 21, chapter 2. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. This is the book of, of, of Acts. This is the mentality we want. Yes. We're not going to sit around and wait for people to find the church. It's too far out here. I almost didn't get here tonight myself. <laughs> How in the world would a sinner find this church? <laughs> so we've got, we've got to get this message out to the people and let them call upon the name of the Lord so they can be saved. Amen. The Holy Spirit is not to give you a joy ride that you can get through Orlando, Florida, at Disney World. The Holy Spirit is to save people and get them ready for heaven. Amen. It's to set you free from the traps of the devil. Yes. Yes. It's to put a boldness inside of you that you can be a witness. Yes. It'll make you sweeter. Woo! It will. Some of you really need a big dose. <laughs> oh my. I can just imagine about now that. Pastor Nicholson said, we, 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 you pick, because I'm not going to pick you. <laughs> oh, yes. You go on down into verse 42, chapter 2. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and in fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer. Now, if they're going to continue in this, it's going to take the power of the Holy Ghost for them to come together in these four things. Because somebody's not going to want to break bread. Somebody's not going to want fellowship. Somebody's not going to want to have prayer meeting. So we have to put it together in the Holy Ghost. And when we begin to put it together, it says, just the next verse down, it says, and signs and wonders begin to follow them. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Signs and wonders taking yes. place. Yes, yes. God can do anything. He's not limited. Amen. God the Holy Spirit is here. He's in this building tonight. Yes. He's sitting beside you. Yes. He is closer to you than your own skin. Amen. Pinch yourself. Get you some skin. Amen. Now tell me, can you feel the Holy Ghost inside there? Some of you couldn't. Because you hadn't got there yet. He's, he's closer than that skin. Amen? Amen. And when the Holy Ghost gets inside there, signs and wonders are going to take place right here in this building until you get a bigger building, until you get so big you can't hold the crowd anymore. Amen. We'll have to go downtown and tell J.C. Penney's to move out where we can have a bigger <laughs>
you know, and they make these papers and they're telling about the, the Eskimos and, and, and they know so much about them. Let's just 